anxiety, panic attacks. Let's go, baby! <laughs> What's going on guys, it's your boy Usman and I help people thrive through movement and meditation and yes, you know what I'm saying guys, I'm repping the Skyrim Dragonborn helmet, I'm a big nerd, do you know what I mean, and I love that. So we're talking about anxiety and panic attacks and why people suffer from such things so deeply. What can we do about it? How can you prevent it? How can you deal with anxiety and panic attacks better so that they no longer affect your life so much? Well, here's an interesting thing, guys. I'd like to tell you about my own life and my relationship to anxiety and panic attacks. So when I was a child, if I would get sick, I'd start hallucinating. I'd start having crazy experiences. It would feel as though the whole world was getting huge the whole world was growing and I was shrinking I was becoming like this and everything else was becoming big and it was like swallowing me up does that make sense is that kind of similar to the feeling that you've experienced if it is make sure that you leave a comment below and engage with this video throughout okay like subscribe hit the notification bell and all of that if you haven't already so I was experiencing this as a kid but today as a young man, I don't really experience this stuff anymore. Now, there was one time a few months ago that comes to mind where I did experience that feeling that I used to experience as a child. And there have been some times since I started meditating where I've had that feeling, but I've been able to actually enjoy the feeling, transmute the feeling, play with the feeling. Do you know what I'm saying? Fully tune into it, not resisting it, not trying to get away from it, not scared. Do you know what I mean? Because that's what makes everything worse. So if you take anything from what I've just said, feelings of dissociation, feelings of anxiety and panic attacks, you can actually get to a point where you're such a master of your mind that you can have fun with it. You can play with it. Now, that might sound impossible. That might even sound offensive to you because you've suffered that much, but it's true. I play with anxiety, I play with overwhelm, I play with the sensations in my body because I'm on the path to self-mastery. I decided to start walking that path at the age of 17, 16, and now almost 10 years later, it's time for me to share what I have with the world, do you know what I mean? So. If you've been experiencing anxiety and panic attacks, know this. The main problem in the entire thing, the main issue, is resistance to the panic attack. You start resisting it when it starts coming. The anxiety comes in, you start resisting it. I don't want that. I don't want that. Make it go away. Trying to stop it. Do you know what I mean? And this is where the medications come in really handy, guys. If you want to just, like, remove a feeling, yeah, pop the pill. Pop the pill. Do you know what I mean? But know what's happening there. You're removing a feeling by putting something in your mouth which is going to mess up your digestive system most likely because most of the time that stuff is just not meant for the body. And so you end up experiencing multiple side effects of what? No appetite, can't sleep at night, fatigue, low drive, can't get a boner, can't get wet. Do you know what I mean? Whatever it is, let's remove the filters here, guys. Let's remove the filters and get human with one another. Do you know what I mean? So resistance is the main issue. Now, a beautiful and simple example of what resistance is. You go outside, it starts raining. It was a sunny day, man. I had plans, yo. We were going to play. We were going to have fun. We were going to do yoga. I had a class that I was going to teach and then it starts raining. So resistance very shortly enters the mind in situations like this and says... I wish it wasn't raining. Oh, damn it. We create resistance to what is happening and choose to focus instead on what we would like to happen. Oh, you wanted to stop raining. Okay. So? Do you know what I mean? Just because you're resisting that panic attack doesn't mean it's going away. Just because you don't want it doesn't mean it's going away. It's there to teach you something. Maybe you've been hiding from yourself for so long and it's finally coming out. Maybe you're in a relationship that you're not supposed to be in 
there's been red flags popping off. Maybe you're experiencing deep anxiety over that. Hurting someone else's feelings, breaking someone's heart. <gasps> it's so early though, I can't do that yet. I was there and that's when I first had my deepest anxiety attack. That was when I was scared to break someone's heart. For myself though, for my own health. And I sacrificed my own health for that. I sacrificed my own health for years, lying to myself. So what is that anxiety teaching you? Have you been working a job that you hate? And now, now you're thinking about death. And now you're thinking about how your life is just going to be a waste. Do you know what I mean? That feeling is going to guide you towards living the life that is truer to you, better for you, more fulfilling. Do you know what I mean? So why your anxiety has come up it's specific to you it's unique to you why are you having panic attacks for your personal growth ultimately and for you to grow deeper and closer to yourself now if you pop that pill and you remove the teacher then okay turn into a vegetable no lessons learned you won't learn the lesson you'll just remove or cover up the symptom whilst everything else is still going crazy within the body and the nervous system, the digestive system and hormones are getting terribly affected. But it's okay. No symptom. For a month. <laughs> then you start bleeding out your bum. Do you know what I mean? Been there too. <sighs> Heavy times. Natural healing is the way. So, get this. You create resistance to anxiety like you create resistance to the rain. Oh, why is it raining? I don't want it to rain. I want the sun every day until it's too hot. Now I want the rain. Then the rain comes. Now I want the sun again. Oi. God. Snap. Hurry up. Give me what I want. <laughs> this, this is literally our attitude. I'm exaggerating here. But this is our attitude. Well, you feel sick and then you just want it to disappear. You know, you get anxious, you just want it to disappear. No, it doesn't work like this. And so the first step is learning the art of surrender. The art of surrender is all about learning to accept how you feel. Accept what is happening. And if it helps, see something positive in it. So when it rains next time and you're thinking, damn it. You think, what is the lesson in this? What is the blessing in this? This is teaching me to surrender. This is showing me that I am resistant. So this is giving me the opportunity to let go of the need to control the universe and more just accept that it's raining. Maybe even enjoy the rain. You know, change your perspective and understand who's benefiting. Who's benefiting from the rain, guys? Flowers, trees, we're getting oxygen. You can breathe because of the rain, so why are you complaining over it? The same thing goes for anxiety and panic attacks, guys. My journey through life has been, boom! It's been like riding on the back of a dragon. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like that. <laughs> riding on the back of the dragon, though, going up and down. Tornadoes have been through what I describe as multiple hells. I've been in personal hell on earth multiple times and I've driven myself to that place multiple times but now I choose to live the life that I want to live I choose to create it for me for the people of the world I choose to enjoy my life and these ups and downs they're temporary guys that anxiety is temporary that impatience is temporary that pain is temporary that pain that you'll feel from doing that hard thing from making that choice is temporary whatever the choice might be break the heart if you need to that's not your responsibility do it in the kindest way possible but don't stay in a relationship or stay in a job just because you're scared of upsetting and letting people down because you're going to be letting yourself down so much by staying in that situation if you don't want to and that anxiety is telling you saying bro snap out of it do you know what I mean? Get yourself out of the situation, sister. 
get yourself into a new situation or are you going to listen? Now you might even experience these things, anxiety and panic attacks, for no reason at all. I invite you to practice the art of surrender. Let go of your resistance and learn to instead tune into the sensations that you feel in your body. Because notice this, head and body, when we get up into our heads, especially when these feelings of anxiety and panic arise, what goes on in the head? Come on guys, tell me in the comments below, write it. Don't do this, I don't want this, oh no, stop. What's going on, what's happening? I can't control this, this feels too much. All of these thoughts, why won't it stop? All of these thoughts, please make it stop. All of these thoughts. Guys, bring yourself from the head into the body, come into your body, feel the anxiety in your guts, in your heart, wherever it is and learn to get comfortable with uncomfortable feelings amazing practice for this take a cold shower another amazing practice for this exercise get yourself out of your comfort zone start sitting in uncomfortable situations start getting comfortable with discomfort and once you've mastered this once you start mastering that you'll be able to sit there with your anxiety you'll be able to sit there with pain with suffering you'll even be able to just chill with it, just vibe with it, just transmute it, dance with it, do you know what I mean? So the art of surrender is a journey and it takes some time, it takes practice, it takes a lot of practice, but meditation is one of the, if not the most powerful experience to cultivate a sense of surrender. Now in my life I've used meditation for almost 10 years now and the benefits that I have experienced are clear. Guys, I play with those feelings of anxiety now. I play with it. Do you know what I mean? Because it's no longer scary. It's no longer overwhelming. It's just a feeling within the body. I play with sadness. I play with grief. I play with anger. Do you know what I mean? I let it all out, I feel it in the body and I move that energy. And you can learn to do the same thing. But it all starts with learning the art of surrender. Learning how to accept your current moment. Learning how to bring yourself into the body. Instead of spending all your time up here. Especially in those situations where you are required to be more present. You know, stressful situations if you're up here. Mistake after mistake after mistake. Trip up stub your toe, smash your glass, spill the milk, whatever it might be. But if you're in your body, grounded, centered, feet on the ground, bum on the ground, feeling into your body, doesn't matter if there's sickness. I feel a bit hungry right now, actually. I've got this hunger pain in the belly and I feel really hot that's just how my body feels I can relax into that it feels uncomfortable it almost feels like a sick feeling coming up here actually with the hunger I was doing some spinning exercise as well before that made me feel a little bit sick and it's just like yo <laughs> surrender man <laughs> it's all good <laughs> because this is temporary and this is the point of surrender it's like why resist the rain when it's going to stop in a few minutes or a few days? And then what? When the rain has stopped, you'll want it back. And you resist the sun until that's stopped. And then you want that back. So everything is temporary. And whilst the temporary thing might be uncomfortable, don't fight it. Because it's going to end. Whatever it is, everything has a beginning, middle and an end. That changed my life. So whatever you're going through, there was a beginning. There'll be a middle, and there'll be an end, and you'll enter the next chapter, and the next chapter, and the next chapter. So, what I've created is something very powerful. It's an online meditation course, Meditation 101 Tools for a Lifetime, that gives you tools for a lifetime. You can use these tools literally until the day you die. It's like riding a bike. And once you've learned what you need to learn, you can practice in your own time and you can take these practices and techniques and apply them to your life in every single day and every moment. 
because we become emotional, we enter resistance all the time. Throughout the day, there are situations that create these feelings of resistance, panic, anxiety, whatever it might be for you. And so if we've got tools that we can use on a day-to-day, moment-to-moment basis, then we have a tremendous advantage and we can free ourselves from feeling like a victim to these things, understanding that life doesn't happen to us, but life is happening for us. Life is happening for you, not to you. There is a magic spell to cast upon your life. So I've created something extremely powerful that's gonna help you with the situation, okay? I've already just recently today had some feedback from someone that tried this, that's been having anxiety and panic attacks, and they told me they're feeling a lot better. So this is a free guided meditation. There's a link in the description below. This sister even said that even though she's tried meditation in the past before with me and this guide, she was able to stay concentrated for longer than she ever has before. She even experienced emotional release from the breathwork exercise that you'll do in that free guide and released some traumatic energy. So check out the link in the description below. There's a free guided meditation there for you to get started right now on your journey towards self-mastery. Imagine your day-to-day -day life. Imagine all those moments where you feel anxious, where you feel stressed, where you feel worried, where you feel scared, whatever it might be, anger, frustration. Imagine being able to feel peace and calm with those feelings, to eliminate the resistance and come into a place of acceptance. You're gonna learn how to do this. You're gonna learn how to navigate your feelings. You're gonna learn how to create quietness in your mind if you go to the link in the description and click the link that is most appropriate for you. Free guided meditation or complete course, it's your choice. It's your choice and you get to go as deep as you go and in this life, you get what you put in. In the free guided meditation, understand this, you get what you put in. You get what you put in. So there's a breathing exercise in that free meditation and it might be a bit intense, but let yourself get intense. Put the energy in, put the work in because at the end there is a gentle calm meditation that allows you to experience even deeper feelings of peace if you've been willing to put in the work and put in the breath and the fire that's inside of you. Do what you think is right, choose the choice for you. Don't think too much, think about your health, think about your mind, think about where you've spent money before and think about how fast it's come back. Be willing to invest in yourself because investment in yourself is the greatest investment that you can make. Meditation changed my life and it could change yours too. Make sure you share this video with a friend. Anyone that's dealing with anxiety, panic attacks, worry, stress, anyone that you feel could benefit from this, please send it to them and let them benefit too. I'm checking out, guys, for the rest of my day ahead with strength, with courage, with vulnerability, with love, and with honour. I'm checking out, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Fuss! Tame the dragon! Don't kill it.